What's going on? We're taking a look at the Nuke Competition Oil Catch Can. So this is designed essentially to harness the blow by uh, or the excess crankcase pressure that forms in engines either with a lot of boost or ethanol motors de definitely get a lot of blow by. It's the nature of ethanol where it flies past the rings and you'll essentially get ethanol and everything. Um, it's really good to have a good catch can because that um, prevents it from being in unwanted places in the motor. And this catch can is not only really functional but also looks amazing as you can see. So as, as we start out, we can see that the, the logos even line up on the two sections of the catch can, which is really nice. So those, that little attention to detail there, it's really cool. So as we undo it, we notice, oh, on the bottom, it's the port where you can drain it. They actually sell a, a little pipe that comes off there with a petcock that you can mount um, either in your fender or something like that, somewhere easy to access that you can click it open and empty this thing. So this is their 0.5 liter oil catch can. So this is about as big as my hand, got big hands. Yeah, the quality of machining is pretty ridiculous, how tight and accurate everything is. So let's see if we can get that logo out there. Awesome. So the difference between their competition oil catch can and the performance oil catch can is that this has one extra level of filtration. Here, this is their competition one. You can see, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but there's essentially steel wool inside of here. So in this area, there's steel wool that you can clean. The two Allen keys right here, you can pull those off and then you can clean the section inside. Pretty trick. And then the second filtration comes uh, on the outlet where there's a baffle here, but then you'll also see there's a screen right on the inside there. Another cool feature that it has a dipstick, especially for us, uh, we run a 2J with a, a decent amount of ring gap, uh, 34 pounds of boost on a 91. Last year was a 91.74 or Warner Turbo. This year is gonna be a 92.80, but we run a decent amount of boost and with the ring gap that we have and ethanol, it creates a decent amount of blow by. And being able to check how much uh, fluid is in the catch can is critical because we wanna make sure that we're emptying it regularly and that it's not building up and not letting the motor breathe. So this comes straight out of there. You know, one of the nice pieces too, is you can see they put a little bit of a uh, little bit of anti seize on there, a little bit of grease on there. So that attention to detail is really cool. You know, making sure that everything it comes to you in a functional form. So I've already installed the two dash 10 AN fittings that can be into these positions, but they come all apart. They provide us with a O-ring and also these really cool machine pieces. So those O-rings just slip into that groove and then you can either do a dash 10 or dash eight or whatever, whatever your system calls for. You can order them with that. Now on the outlet, there's a couple different options. You can either vent to atmosphere, which is what I have this one set up for right now. So there's two inlets, uh, which will run from each of our valve covers on the 2J. And then the outlet is gonna be, in our case, vent to atmosphere. So they give us this little trumpet, which is pretty cool. Kind of a cool trick piece. I wonder if they machine this themselves because it's really, really nice. You look at that, it's like a Venturi trumpet. And there's also the option of another Dash 10. So. Let's say we want to do recirculating uh, oil catch can. We could run this back into a vacuum source. Some people like doing it that way on a more stock setup. Uh, for us, we don't mind if there's a little bit of smoke coming out of the hood, venting. We'll probably run the atmospheric one. And But for guys with a little bit more of a stock setup, you could run a recirculating one. Pretty trick. So one of the cool things about uh, Nuke, which is, I guess key to their whole product line is not only do they put a lot of time in engineering, obviously, but the design of it is pretty incredible. I It would be hard pressed to find anyone that wouldn't want to see this in their engine bay. Wow, at the fitment and the fitting, the way these things fit together. Again, like I started, uh, when you tighten it back down, the logos line up. There's just a little, little details like that are really cool. So this is the new performance competition oil catch can.